Hi guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, it is Tuesday morning. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. In a moment, I'm going to ring my mother. Well, I was actually just getting out of bed about 20 to 8. Um, and the phone rang. I was up already. The phone started ringing, so I wasn't lying down. And there was a load of banging, people going out the door, the door banging, the bins banging, noise. Um, I've normally got all the fans on, I can't hear a bloody thing. So I was, I, I was up already, and my mum rings. And that, I told you, every time she rings, it starts. So I've been quiet all yesterday since I came back from Rochester High Street yesterday. I haven't spoken a word because I live by myself. And I don't talk to myself. I might say, hello, Max. Max, what are you doing? Or call Max in if he starts barking. But I don't speak to myself, do I? I live by myself in my flat. So you won't hear me speaking unless I'm like saying things to my dog, like people do. Good boy, come here. You might hear that occasionally, but you won't hear me talking to anyone because I live by myself. So it's been really, 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 really quiet and sometimes it can feel really, really, really depressing and isolating. But I was, I was sat last night reading my book that I borrowed from the library. So I was sat down reading a book, watching documentaries on YouTube about mail order brides, men going over to the Ukraine um, to, to meet women and Russia, Russian brides going over to these countries um, to bring back a, a mail order bride back to Great Britain and one worked out she had a baby with this british guy this bald-headed guy she had a relationship with him this beautiful blonde russian woman had a relationship with this guy and, and it's worked out and they they had a child together but this one, one other guy was ripped off for nearly ten thousand pounds and then this other guy, this girl came over and she caused him trouble. She had debts and he had debt collectors after him. Um, and another guy went over there, he said all oh, these women weren't so very nice as British women. And he came back to this country and went out with an ex-girlfriend he'd been out with. So, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Male order brides. And then I watched a documentary about billionaires, millionaires, um, and the age gap difference. And there was this 71 year old, really rich bloke who never married, never had children. And he now wanted to have children at the age of 71. And he was going on online dating for the first time. And he picked up a, a younger woman in her in a, a late 30s and he invited her around to his big house with all these expensive luxuries things and she was going out with this 71 year old guy and she was 38 and um, just the age gap difference there was a 58 year old woman with a 28 year old guy uh, and that was working out. She said he was more more attentive to her and they loved each other and all that. So I was watching documentaries on TV last night by myself while I was reading uh, my book from the library on and off. And it was indeed very, very quiet. Um, I had gone out to Rochester High Street uh, yesterday to go to the library, or after I went to the library. And that Charlie, was wandering up and down the streets. Obviously he lives near Rochester High Street, so he was wandering up and down the road with his bucket hat on and his two plastic bags. I want to show people why I get depressed and what happens and why my mood changes. And I'm also trying to work it out myself. So 
anybody that's been following my videos will, will remember that I met this guy called Charlie on the field and he wasn't treating me very nice at all. Um, he, I, 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 I said, no, I don't want to hold your hand. And then he held my hand afterwards. And then I said, no. And then I just walked home. Well, I, I can't avoid this bloke. He lives in Rochester. What he uh, did to me has made me feel awful about myself. Um, but I'm trying to get over it. But yesterday I saw him walking up Rochester High Street when I went to go to the Oxfam charity shop. He was walking up the high street in his bucket hat, his brown scuff shoes, carrying plastic bags. And he told me that his girlfriend didn't give him any money so he couldn't buy anything for me. He said, I can't buy you anything. My girlfriend doesn't give me any money. And the reason she didn't give him any money was because she said he buys alcohol with it. He's an ex-alcoholic and he buys alcohol with it. She also said he's a very nasty man to me. So I was wary about that. He wasn't walking up the high street with his girlfriend. But, I'm, you know, it's not my responsibility. I thought, where is his girlfriend? I mean, she doesn't get out very much. She's got long black hair. Um, so he's wandering up and down the streets and he usually is looking for women, females because she doesn't want him in her, in her flat, that's what she told me, and she, he's looking for somewhere to live. So he's looking for a, a person with a flat or accommodation that he can stay in, and I, he's not staying in my flat, so I'm keeping away from him. So I, that, seeing him reminded me of what happened on the field, the, you know, so I, I just blanked it, I walked past him, I went into a shop, came out of the shop and I saw him again. So I went back into another shop and waited till he'd gone, obviously back to where he lived, came out of the shop and then I thought, right, I'm going to get some flowers to cheer myself up. So I was looking at a bunch of flowers, but I got three lovely plant pots with pink, uh, crimsonish white flowers on to cheer, cheer myself up on my, on my balcony. But my mood started to change. I started to feel upset because this guy is an old man and I don't consider myself an old lady yet. I told him I wasn't interested in him and I think he's got the message. And it, I never was going out with this guy. He's nothing to do with me. He's got an older girlfriend his own age that's in her 60s and he lives with her and she is tired of him bringing women back to his flat. She got cross with me twice, he brought me back to the flat twice, she got cross with me, I got the message and I feel sorry for her, it's her flat and he's bringing women back to that. It's not on is it, it's not nice, it's not on. It's also preying on younger women and she's in her 60s so you've got to understand how she feels he's bringing young women back to her flat he's talking to young women she's an older woman she must be feel feel terrible but i am not anything to do with this charlie character i i am younger my hair is ginger his girlfriend he lives with has got long black hair and she's bigger than me So I started to feel miserable. I tried to cheer myself up with flowers. And then I thought, right, I'm gonna get a newspaper, seeing what's going on with this BBC presenter that's been a naughty boy. Have they named him yet? They haven't. So I went into a news agent. Then this couple came in. She was a really, really pretty young girl of about, you know, late teens, twenties. She had a little pokey ponytail coming out of her head and her boyfriend was with her and he was going then come on then come on then give us a smile give us a smile come on you're always miserable and um, she started laughing he was buying things and then he went to the counter and he went bollocks and I'd happened to write bollocks in my diary before I left the building I'd happened 
to write bollocks in my diary. So he was at he was at the newsagent's counter with his girlfriend, and he went, "Oh bollocks!" Like I'd written in my diary, which freaked me out a bit. So I thought, you start to get paranoid. You start to think, is someone reading my diary while I'm writing it in my flat? You start to get paranoid when people start actually copying your mannerisms and start saying what you've just said. It's weird. So he was all lovey-dovey with his girlfriend. He, I would say he was in his mid to late 20s and she was a, a, a t teenager about 19, 20, so he was older than her and they were laughing and giggling together. I felt so alone and so pissed off and that Charlie was walking up and down and he's too old for me and I'm not interested in him. Also, he's living with a girlfriend. So it really upset me. That's what upset me and made me feel horrible. Um, I came out of the news agents, right, there were girls in there giggling, girls, and some, one of them was American and she went, guys, guys, I sometimes talk in an American accent, guys, and I had that behind my back, and I've done videos singing in an American accent a long time ago, about 2009, 10 and 11. And I deleted all those videos, so I don't know if someone's managed to get hold of them. But they were taking the piss behind my back. Guys, guys, hello guys, I sometimes speak in an American accent. And they started giggling. So I started to feel even worse. I started to feel even worse than I was all feeling already. I got myself a feast lolly, I got myself some a drink and something to eat and I, I walked home and the, and the atmosphere had changed because my mood had changed. So when I first went out to the library yesterday, it was quiet. Nobody knew I was going to the library, so I walked into the library, it was all quiet. But then as soon as you hit those cameras downstairs and you leave the building, they clock you what you're wearing, who it is, and then about 20 minutes after, 25 minutes after I've left the building, I, I, you, all the weirdos appear, all the fucking shit happens. When I walked into Mr Flower to get my plants in Rochester, there was a funny version of my uh, second to eldest son. So it, he had my son's features, but green and black hair. And there was a, a car going down Rochester High Street with the number plate UG, UG, transit vans. And the guy in the flower shop looked like my son, who used, to who used to live down here, but he's moved to London. So he had green and black hair, this exaggerated nose, and he was with a girl with glasses like myself so it looked like a weird version of me and my son when we used to walk down the high street together that pissed me off that upset me because I'm on my own now and I was walking with my son down the high street so I have no partner I'm a single woman and it does piss you off I think People have sung songs about it, walking down the street as a singleton, couples holding hands, kissing, and you feel like a dick. Um, so it's been going on for years, this, people being on their own, seeing couples holding hands, there's songs written about it. I'm not the only one that goes through it. I've been on my own since 